How are you doing everyone? Welcome back to the Porsche Cayman S. So we're headed over to pick up one of my mates today. And what we're doing is we're going to try and get some cool shots of the car from the outside. Because uh, so far I've been doing it all by myself. And it's just been quite tricky. So I'm going to try and get my mate to do the right shots. Because trying to do the camera works harder than it actually looks. Well, for some people anyway. Um, including me. Still, I'm still learning now. But hopefully I'm getting better. But hopefully we're going to get some cool shots anyway um, And along the way I'm going to give you my first impressions of owning this car Because so far I've not done a first impressions video And yeah, I feel it's the best way to go at the minute because I'm still learning about the car And I just want to experience it with you guys uh, Show you guys what it's like for me I've only had the car for just under two weeks And actually it's two weeks today, sorry um, So yeah, two weeks today I want to show you what I feel like with this present car at this present time. So if any of you guys think about buying a Porsche Cayman S, then hopefully you will have a rough understanding of what you're letting yourself in for and how much fun it is. Personally for me, because I'm loving it. Um, but every car like this has their drawbacks as well. One being the fuel, um, servicing, just mainly running costs and uh, comfort, which we'll come on to in a minute. So yeah, without further ado, let's hit into this. So let's go down the route of practicality first, because I find it's really mixed reviews online, and I don't think it's as bad as what people think. I think what uh, the Cayman has done for Porsche is opened up a whole new market. Because whereas the 911 is more of a uh, civilized, I'd say civil, it's pretty much a really good civilized supercar, depending on what version you buy of it. So yeah, the, it's not really practical um, in a sense that it hasn't got a rear boot, but it has the front boot, which the Cayman does as well. Um, but the good thing what I was saying about the Cayman is. In the rear boot, there's like two sections to it, um, and you can put one over the top of the engine bay, if you can see it just here, and open up the rear boot, and there's a, a nice size bit where you can get a nice size like luggage bag there. Um, yes, yeah, so it's not too bad, but and then the front boot is really deep, and I find it's so it's a lot better than a lot of cars, especially like like Ford KAs and things like that, it's, I feel it's got more room than them. Obviously we've not got rear seats to uh, put anything on. But yeah, I find practicality is really good. So let's move on to the power of the car. Um, how does it feel having 300 horsepower um, in the car? It's pretty light, um, not as light as the Exige, which it competes against and I believe it's lighter still than the Audi TT. Um, so it, they're the kind of things it's going against, and the Nissan 370Z and 350Z. But I still, it, I find it a bit biased because the car costs a bit more. But as you may do, like I've done, I could get a newer 350Z for the money what brought for this car. So you, you can basically just buy an older version of the Cayman S and you're about quids in which in American terms dollars in <laughs> but moving back onto the power yeah, I find it to have reasonably really nice smooth power band the engine is to die for when you go over 5000 revs say get a nice mic for my DSLR so I can try and pick it up a bit better for you guys but I just wish any of you some of you may have been in a Porsche and got in the uh, boxer engine and used the six cylinder inline six cylinder engine and it is oh it's outstanding soon like I said as soon as you go over 5,000 revs it's like you can hear like a cam change it just 
roars that it's like barking at you and then as soon as you hit it back into the next gear um, if you take it all the way up to like 8,000 then it drops back into the sixth gear you keep your fro uh, the throttle pinned and it just barks even more and oh like I said it's outstanding it's the best sounding car I've owned um, which isn't that hard considering all the cars what I have owned um, I've all kind of been just like normal coupes but like I said it's to die for and hopefully even better once I get the uh, remix exhaust put on or I, I don't know yet what one I'm looking for I'm just looking out there so I'm going to move on now to how comfortable it is um, as we expect with a sports car uh, it's, it's reasonably pretty hard on bumpy roads but I think it's more than forgiving than some of the other supercars I've drove uh, I find the Audi R8 a lot stiffer and what's well, that a lot of other supercars this isn't a supercar I'm not going to kid about it it's not a supercar but it's a good sports car if I had a bit more power it could easily get into the entry level supercars I believe like I think the Cayman GT4 is nearly there because that car is stunning just needs about 400 horsepower instead of the 380 yeah but back to come anyway I find it like I'm going down some country lanes now um, and it's really smooth like it's, it, it's just planted and that's what I want but like when you get onto like a pothole you do feel it like it's not the bestest <laughs> of feelings but I expected this and it, believe it or not it's more comfortable than I thought so I'm not even going to bother moaning when you go to buy one of these don't think that it's going to be because everyone says that they're really comfortable they are really comfortable for what they are <coughs> excuse me so that, yeah they are comfortable for what they are but they're still not comfortable <laughs> they're, like right way driving smooth as anything down most country lanes really smooth but as soon as you hit like a little ridge or bump and it's quite static you're gonna feel it a bit I mean it's not like we're driving a go-kart where it's got no suspension but yeah like just then it's like doo -doo. but I kind of like it I feel it through the wheel a lot more uh, whereas this car has the hydraulic um, steering rack I believe so it's, yeah you just find it's a lot better than the electric steering racks which you get on most of the modern cars so you kind of feel as soon as the road try and takes the wheel away from you <coughs> you can feel it a lot more and you can correct it a lot easier I find um, it's a little bit more man handled but I think it's more rewarding as a lot of you guys probably know but like I said, everyone's different, so... Yeah! Oh, I love that engine! Man! How can you not love that engine? Oh! The traction is so great! It is unreal! Like, we're on a hill, and it's like, just going to this national speed of that. enough to go into a GT3 or a GT3 RS then that's different yeah, that's a different calibre um, of car because they sound with the Metsuno engines oh my god they don't like put anything to shame really but yeah as a standard Porsche it's the Cayman S but it just sounds so I just wish I could exp I don't have the words to express how great it sounds oh my god long story short is you need to buy one of these cars because they just sound so freaking awesome and I've got one on buy so I don't care but just get in one and try it take one for a test drive and then you'll figure out like you 
missing a whole lot of fun, man. How have you done everyone? So I thought we'd check out the sticker on the car because I got it done in between this week and lot last video I just uploaded. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys anyway on this first drive video. Um, so here it is. Hopefully the light's coming through okay. But it goes along there. But we're gonna run around to the other side. It's a bit of filthy already as well, because I just cleaned it. So hopefully this is a bit better. So yeah, you can see it. it's down there, and I think it makes the car look sick. I just find it makes the car pop a little. The only sucky thing is this car's black, so it's really hard to get good light on. But yeah, I'm gonna throw in some clips without it, and then some with it. Yeah, it looks like that. It's, I just think it looks really sick. Let's have a look from the front. So, cheers for watching guys, uh, really appreciate it, hope you've enjoyed the video, there's going to be plenty more coming, um, and loads of trips happening with the car, I'm loving the car to bits, and I just hope it's coming across to you guys how awesome like this car is. Bear in mind there's obviously a lot more awesome cars, but if you're a fan of Porsches and Caymans or in sports cars in general, please uh, like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, be sure to check out all my new videos that are going to be coming up. Uh, really appreciate it, like I said, cheers for watching guys.